Another area that's really emerged in cognitive neuroscience that I think has huge implications for the study of psychopathology, and those are the intrinsic uh, brain networks. So brain networks that modulate key functions of human cognition and behavior. And these three networks include the central executive network, which is really involved in higher order cognition, the salience network that really helps us to figure out what internal and external stimuli are most relevant to us at this point in time and therefore really helps to engage us in appropriate action. And the third one of these networks is called the default mode network, which is really sort of the idling state of the brain, you know, when we're not engaged in any cognitive activities, but when we're just idling at rest. And there's really intricate relationships among these three networks. And uh, the two, the structure that is key in really engaging and disengaging appropriate networks seems to be the anterior insula, which is a key region involved in interoceptive awareness. And so this region of the brain seems to be key in bringing online, for example, the central executive network when we're wanting to engage in a cognitive task, when we have to remember something. And at the same time, it would the anterior insula would then disengage the default mode network because we're actively engaged in cognition. Whereas, you know, if we're just at, at rest and we're engaging in self-referential thinking, the uh, anterior insula would disengage the central executive network but bring online more of the default mode network.